welcome back guys so in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to cut this dress that you can see on my thumbnail and also by so the side of I'm this going to start from four to cut this to mark it four inches that is where the neckline is going to come start because it's a tube outfit then the other um upper part of it is um overlapped on it so i'm going to place my tape at four this is silk so it will keep pulling down i'll push it back and i want to cut it you get but for now i'll leave it how it is so i'll start from four and i'll mark my upper bust length which is seven and a half i'll mark my bust length which is 15 and then the waist length i don't need the under bust because i'm using just that in this load then the waist length is 18 then i'll use my full length to be my full length i'm going to be using 22 inches so i'm going to rule everything together one boss is 44 i'm going to mark my one boss at the, at the upper boss length that's 11 inches 44 divided by 4 is 11 inches so now i'll mark 11 inches i'll add two inches to in allowance yeah so at the waist length and full length i'll mark my round waist my round waist is 35.5 divided by 4 is 8.7 8.875 here okay so i'm going to add three and a half inches otherwise this three and a half inches is going to constitute both the sewing allowance two inches and then the that allowance so now i'm going to come and mark her that at the bust length i want to um, get the that so i'm going to mark her bust pan divided by two her bust pan is nine and a half divided by two is four point seven five so i'm going to mark four point seven five from here to the full length and connect it together so at this bus length i'm going to come down by one and a half this is where my dart line is going to start and then at this waistline i'm going to do uh, my dart my dart i'm going to be using one inch on both sides making it two inches because it's plus size if she was not plus size i would have used 075 or even 050 so i'm going to connect this together okay connect this together then connect this to this point that we came down 1.5. So I'll now come at this top here and mark my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is SL is 15. So I'm going to use 7.5 here. Here. And then from here, I'll just connect it this way. This is going to be sort of our arm, our arm hole. Okay. For the outfit. So I'll connect it this way. I'll put this thing here so that I will cut this outfit so that it's not slipping. Okay. So I'll now notch, I'll put a notch here, like a slash here, so I'll know where my, 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 my dart is. So I'll also come here and put a pin here, okay? This pin I've put here, I'll turn to the back. I want to know where I'm going to um, stop my dart at the back side, okay? So this point, this other side, this point is going to, where shop is, this is where my dart is going to stop. And then this, um notion line that is there that i opened here will indicate where it is going to stop i hope you understand what i'm saying so i will now use this particular fabric and cut the back pattern so guys now we are going to cut the back so i want to come up, mark out my zip allowance and now my zip allowance is going to be 1.5 so i'm going to mark 1.5 all the way down and then i'll connect everything together So now that I have done this, I'll go ahead and, you know, place the front pattern, the front material on the back side, okay? And then I'll cut it out. And I'm trying to arrange this properly because, you know, this is silk. So any small thing, is, it moves. Silk can be very annoying to work with because any small thing is moving. So I'm trying to make sure that everything is arranged properly. So now that I've done that, let me put this on top of this place so that it will hold it down. Okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut this out. So at this waist side, eh? At this waist side now, I'm going to go in by one inch. This is going to make sure to remove remove. This is going to eliminate any bulge at the back of the clothes at the waist side. So I'm not going to connect from this 1.5. So like from here to this one inch we went in. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. So I'll connect the none I've connected it. I will remove this part. I'll cut out this part, okay? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and notch it at the 1.5. So what I'm going to do next is to that 1.5 that we marked originally. I will put it back. I'll mark it back. 
and this is going to be our new zip allowance okay so now if i want to sew my zip allowance, this part i'm going to sew this new 1.5 that i marked here and let me go ahead and also notch it to indicate it okay so you see what we have here so this is the front pattern and then this is the back pattern for this front pattern now you know this is straight i want to come down a bit by 1.5 okay let me come down a bit by 1.5 so that this is going to have a curve here okay this is what it is going to look like it's going to have a curve that's why i want the neck i don't want the neckline to be straight i want it to have a curve at th this way okay so what i'll do next now is to cut the lining of this so after cutting the lining i'll just go ahead and join everything together when i finish joining then i'll be back if you watch the picture this, this clothes has gathered but i'm not going to make the waist of my, this one gather because the person is a plus size person so i'm going to cut the first one the first one that's the part i'm going to add to the um top of the outfit i'm going to cut it flay then the remaining two steps I'm, is going to be gathered like straight cut do you get so for me to get the flay i've divided my round waist I, by the way i folded my material into eight so like i folded it one then folded it again so i'm cutting front and back at once so when you count this is this is already four this is one two and this is two like two that, that so this is four then this is another four making it eight so i'm cutting front and back at once so my round waist is 50 uh, sorry my round waist is 35 divided by 6.28 should be about five point something that divided into into two again because of front and back do you understand so i'm going to be using three inches okay to get the waist here okay so i'll mark three inches i'll mark another three inches then i'll mark the three inches so when i'm done marking it i'm going to measure here to confirm that this is going to reach my round waist it's going to reach my round waist. so what i have here now is 4.5 4.5 divided by 8 is too much so i'll go back again and use about 2.5 for this okay i'll use 2.5 to mark this because what i'm getting is too much so i'm going to use 2.5 to mark this 2.5 should give me closer to the waist so let's measure this out so i'll measure this so what i have now is about four inches four times eight which is 32 this is too small so i'll go ahead and use 2.75 so there's no hand and fast through to these guys just do it until you get it so i'm using 2.75 now okay 2.75 2.75 so let me get it this should give me a better one so i'm having about 4.25 um, here so 4.25 by 7 that should be enough okay so now that i have gotten this i am going to use that i'm not going to get you know my waist is 18 her weight around the waist length is 18 so i'm going to place my tape from this 18 but i'm going to use um, 17 and a half because 050 for sewing allowance do you get so i'm going to use this seven from 17 and a half and i'm going to get the the length i want the length i'm going to be using is 30 inches right so i'm going to use 30 inches from here 17 and a half i'll mark 30 inches that will be the first length for this so 17 and a half sorry 30 inches 17 and a half i'm going to mark the 30 inches round 17 and a half 30 inches 17 and a half 30 inches so this is what i have 17 and a half 30 inches so this is what i am having so i'll go ahead and cut this out okay i'll go ahead and cut this place out the mouth Then I also cut out the length as well. So this is the first flay, and then this is the second flay in what I'm having. Okay, so what I'll do now is to slash here open. I'm going to slash this part open so that I'll be able to join the flays together as one. I'll also slash one side of this open as well so you'll be able to join it together. Okay. So this is what I have now. I'll go ahead and take the measurement. So you see what we have here is when we are done about 41 and a half. So 
the round waist I'm, I'm going to have now is about 42, 43 inches, right? So this is the first length of the outfit. Remember that we stopped this outfit at, at 30. The full length of this outfit is about 60 inches, okay? So I've already um, taken out 30 inches. Obviously, there's still an allowance that's going to go out of here. So now what we are now working with is our length is 60 inches so we subtract this 30 from this 60 so it's meaning 30 inches okay so remember that this our dress has um two more um steps so i'll divide this into two which is 15 inches i hope this is explanation is very clear so yeah let's go ahead and cut for the other one so for the, this what i'll do now is i'll go ahead when i join these parts together when i join this to this together okay when i join this to this and it's now one i'll go ahead and measure the length of this flay the length of this play i'm going to measure the down part of it when i measure the down part of it that is what i am going to use to cut like the second part you know the second part is going to be a straight it's not going to be together it's going to be straight so i'm going to use at least um i'm going to be use more than the length but let's let me join and reach here and then i'll come back so the next thing i'm doing as you can see is to go ahead and join the back sides together like at the zip side then after i am done joining that I will also go ahead and join the lining to the lining like do the mouth like finish up like the neckline of the outfit both the back and the front this outfit i use the fabric like the pieces of this fabric the same fabric as the lining yeah so you might not really notice the difference so i'm just letting you know you can see it here that both the front and the back they are the same because i use the pieces from the material so i'll go ahead and join the neckline now the next thing you will do is to go ahead and top stitch this so that the neckline is going to lie flat this top stitching is going to be done on the lining side of the outfit okay so be careful you see mine i can't really tell because i'm using the same out the same fabric for both lining and the main material but i'm letting you know that the top stitching will be done on the lining very close to the stitches and this is going to carry both the sewing allowance inside and then the lining side so that it can flatten the neckline I will do the same for the front as well remember that the front has a dart so you're going to sew the dart to that okay at the breast point and also sew the neck line yeah so this is me at the table and um, joining trying to mark out the body measurements okay so i'm doing the lining to lining like main fabric to main fabric lining to lining that is how you are going to arrange it you get so you can have that perfect enough finishing so once i've gotten my body measurement my round bust and my round waist i'll go ahead and sew everything okay remember that we started our when we are cutting this neckline from four so i'm going to place the four at the back one because you know we came down we shaped the neck for the front part so it's now you know more than four inches i'm going to use the back side so i'm going to keep place my tape here our waist length is 18 so i'm going to cut mark out 18 and a half and 18 and a half is what we are going to use and cut this part this out okay the half inch i added there is going to be for our sewing allowance okay so I'll now join everything together this way and then cut off the excess so the next thing i'll do is to turn to the back when you come to the back here right guys I'll make it to come like this is the center back, then this is the side back. So I'm going to make the center back, the side backs to coincide. Do you understand what I just did now? So I'm going to come up by one inch. When I come by one inch, I will leave, let's say, like 075 at this part, like towards the side. Okay? So I'll start from that place and connect it back to this one inch. You can use the um, um, ruler to do this, or you can do freehand, but I'm using freehand because I'm already experienced in this. Okay? So what this is going to be is. To help remove any kind of fold so that the back of your clothes is going to be very fitted the way it is now you now join this to the skirt part so let me move over to the skirt part let us start the skirt part of this outfit so this is the skirt part of this outfit right guys i have gone ahead to join this to mark this so i joined this together so i'm going to iron it okay so after ironing it now i'll go ahead if i let me iron this outfit so that everything is um it's already ironed so that ironing it when I'm done will be much much easier. So guys, now that I'm done ironing this down, what, what I'm going to do next is to use my tape ruler and measure the down part of this flay. I need to get to know how many inches is there. Okay, so I'll just measure this out. So after measuring this, I have um 180 plus, that's 200 inches. So I'll measure out the length, that's 200 inches. I'll measure that out. 
on my fabric, okay? And then that is what I'm going to use um do the damper like connect the dampers okay remember i've already told you guys that the length of this is going to be about 17 inches for each of them so let me measure that out so i'm gonna have to like bring out the first you know this has joining this, this is the second joining so this is the joining that i'm going to add and um, join to this flay at this damper this is the waist side remember so this is the flay side the damper so i'm going to join this to this and then this is the first one and then this is the second one so this is going to be the damp part of it so i'll go ahead and join it and then there's nothing serious to do in it you just use sew it down join it there's no serious anything then i'll be back so guys as you can see i've gone ahead to like join the 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 damp part so this is the first joining and then this is the second joining you can see how long it is so what i'll be doing next now is to join this upper part to the to this side to the skirt okay so i'm going to start from here i am going to um, come down to my upper bust length this is my upper bust length but let me use like my upper bust length is seven and a half but let me use eight yeah because of saying allowance so i'm going to use eight and then i'm going to mark it this is obviously my shoulder length and then upper bust length then i'll come here and mark my shoulder my shoulder length is seven and a half okay but i'll use eight and a half because of sewing allowance i'll use eight and a half and i'll mark eight and a half here and then i'll connect the lines together then i'll come down by one inch so i can get my shoulder slope then for me to get the neckline i'm going to do three inches by three and a half here and then uh, if you have a um, curve ruler, I can use curve ruler to connect it, but I'll just use free hand because I'm already used to it. And then I'll connect from this, our neck, the neck that went in, down to the one inch to get our shoulder slope. Okay. So now that I've gotten it, I'm going to divide this show, this armhole by into two. Okay. Then I'll get the center. This center, I'm going to go in by 050. That's half an inch. So I can now connect. I'm coming, please. To get my curve ruler, I wanted to get my curve ruler. So at this upper bust length, I'm going to mark my round bust. My round bust is 44. Okay, divided by four is 11. I'll do. I'll add one inch for sewing allowance. So I'm going to be using 12. So I'm going to connect from this one inch. Sorry, this half inch that we came in to this place. I'll connect to this place. Then from here, I'll connect back to this one inch that we came down for the shoulder slope so this is me forming my round arm hole remember that on that outfit you're it like, like there's a space here do you get so i'm going to come here and do this i'll come here and then come down by let's say i'll use six inches oh no let me use this and half because of sewing allowance let me use this and half because of sewing allowance here so i'm going to use this and half then this is and half i'm going to connect it down so at this point, this upper bust length, I'm going to go in. I'll stop at let's say, I'll stop. I will go in by seven inches. Oh no, seven inches is too much. I'm going to go in by um, six and a half here. Okay. So from here now, I'll connect this six and a half back to this line. So this is what I'm going to cut out. I'll cut this out. Then I also cut this out. So this is for the overlapping part. So this is what I am going to need. So for this back part, this is our our armhole, our neckline, okay? So this is going to serve as a zip allowance here. But of course, there's no going to zip here. I'm going to use, um, um, what they call it, hook and eye. Do you get to like close it up? So the next thing I am going to do is to mark out. Let us see. I'll trace this out. So this is what we are still going to use and cut the front. Sorry, the back of it. It's just that the back will have the opening, okay? So for this back side now, you know for the front part, we went down by four inches. So, so for this, we're going to go down by one and a half for the neckline for the for the back. So this is all we are going to have for the back. The only difference is the fact that we're adding our, our neckline. We're going to go down by one and a half inches. And then you're going to have a zip, um, a space here, basically zip allowance that you're going to have. Please don't add either a zip or not adding a zip. I'm going to add buttons at the back. So I am going to cut this out. Okay. I'm going to label this is the front and then this is the back but the, this is the back i want to i want to give it a a different shape do you get so i want it to come like this okay so that the shape is 
This is the shape I want the back to have. I hope people, you guys understood what I did. So this is going to be the back and then this is going to be the front. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out this on the paint, the, the outfit itself. So guys, as you can see, I've gone ahead to like do this part. You can see how I turned it. I cut, I made the, the material to be both the lining and the and the main fabric, you can see, even at the back. So I turned everything, I, I had to join it at the uh, from the shoulder that you get. So I, I sewed everywhere so that I, I, I turned it to the front parts from the shoulder side. So now I'm going to place it on her. Is it you? Look straight. Look normal. Uh -huh. So I'll place it on her this way. Can you see? So that I can align this where I want it to be. Okay, so I'll now pin it down. I'll pin this down. Sorry, sorry dear, sorry, sorry. So I'll also pin the other side of it. I'll also do the same for the bag. Can you see? I'll pin it down. <laughs> Keep your hand down. So because she's plus size, you can see she's wearing her bra. I want to cover everywhere that her bra is her bra. So, I'm sorry, I'm able to wear her bra, so I want to cover the bra hand, okay? I'll just put hook and eye here to use and like, you know, close it. So turn your front so that you can see. So this is the front part, okay? I want to also hold, yeah, also, yeah. I want to also hold here, hold on there. I also want to hold here. You see that the bra is showing. So I want to also hold here so that this will start from here. Um, I'll now sew here, okay? I'll sew here, turn your front also. I will also sew this side and also this side and then the cloth is complete. Hey guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.